My name is Mikko, and I hunt hackers. I hunt hackers because hackers hunt you. We all hear news about data breaches, but what we often don't hear about is what happens to the data after the breach. It starts when an attacker discovers a vulnerability, which could be a software flaw or a human error. The end result is the same. He gets your data and he shares it with his colleagues. And then the fun for them begins. When such attackers have figured out a way to monetize your data, the next step is to sell your data to interested online criminals. Now your data ends up on combo lists, which can be used to take over your accounts, to create new accounts for you, or to launch very targeted phishing attacks targeting you in order to get information which can be used to loot your financial accounts. So what can you do about this constant assault on your data? Well, it starts by always thinking about what you share. Your goal is to minimize your attack surface. That means minimizing the number of accounts you have or making sure you register accounts with unique email addresses so these can't be automatically linked to each other and also using unique passwords, which you of course never share with anyone else. Your passwords should always be so strong that you can't remember them. Because you don't have to remember them, because you can use a password manager, but that may still not be enough. And this is why you should check out a reputable service which will follow your data into the furthest corners of the web and can warn you when your data has been breached so you can act before the criminals do. Eventually, there will be capabilities to track us and to track our data everywhere, all the time. And that data can be used to try to take over your identity. Protect yourself. Protect your identity.